Hello Libra, this is Renee, welcome back. This is your you versus them reading. So we're going to do this reading. We're going to have your energy on this side. We're going to have your person's ener energy on this side. Now, be aware that the energies can be reversed. So if you feel like you're on this side, Libra, take it how it resonates, okay? So let's get into this. The energies we have on your side, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? For your person, we have attraction. Your attraction, you, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? So we have attraction on their side. So I feel like, you know, they're very attracted to you, Libra. There's just something about you that they're really attracted to, okay? So for your side, Libra, we're going to go ahead and use the Spellcaster's Tarot. For their side, we're going to go ahead and use the Modern Witch Tarot, okay? So let's get some messages for Libra. Spirit, do a message for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Libra feel about this person? Give me a message. How does Libra feel about this person? How does Libra feel about this person on their mind? Spirit, give me a message. How does Libra feel about this person? Okay, the Two of Wands. Okay, you could be making plans. You may be making plans or seeing yourself in the future with this person. You know, um, I feel like there's a very strong attraction there, Libra. Um, but I feel like you're making plans. Spirit, give me a message. What are Libra's intentions towards this connection? What are Libra's intentions towards this connection? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. You can see yourself with this person for a long term. You know, you see a lot of changes being made. Um, maybe on both of your parts, right? Um, I feel like this person is kind of making you change your viewpoint on certain aspects of life and love. Okay, it may be that you had lost faith in love, Libra, uh, but I feel like this person who you're attracting now is making you kind of change that aspect. You see yourself, you know, making a lot of changes or working on yourself, you know, trying to become a better person <laughs> in spite of this person. I feel like they have a... A really big pull on you, right? Okay, your connection. Your connection is the Five of Wands energy. So I feel like this connection, there's a lot of flirting going back and forth with this person. There's a lot of playfulness. There's a lot of um, playful interaction, right? I, I really feel like this is an emperor energy. Okay, it could be Aries coming towards you, uh, but I feel like this emperor is very charming, very witty. You know, they they really have a lot going on for them. It could be a very wealthy person. It doesn't have to be, uh, they don't have to be rich, but I feel like they have what they need, right? They don't want for too much. So I feel like this person could be a business owner. They could... Um, be an entrepreneur, uh, but I feel like definitely, and see, you're really distracted. You're really, really distracted and nervous when this person comes around. They make you nervous. I, I can kind of see you kind of shaking. When they come around, you know, they kind of give you those 
those vibes like they give you chills. We have the Hierophants. So I feel like you and this person are kind of connecting on more of a spiritual level. Um, but the Hierophant could also mean that it could be leading into a committed relationship. Right? So this could be... Um, I feel like you definitely want to make a commitment. You definitely see yourself with this person. You see yourself creating something with this person. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at your person's vibes here. Let's take a look at your person's vibes. Well, I definitely see a lot of flirting going on between you and this person. There's a lot of flirtatious energy. Spirit, give me a message for Libra's person. How do they feel about Libra? Give me a message. How does this person feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra, please? Ooh, the Ten of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Tell me how this person feels. What are the what are their intentions with Libra? What are their intentions with Libra? Ooh, the Four of Pentacles. So, okay. When they view you, Libra, they see that you're caring a lot. They feel like you're working very hard, like you're you know, going after what it is that you want. But they feel like you may be carrying a lot of weight, right? They feel like you may have a lot of burdens. But I do feel like their intentions towards you are to have some stability, to, um, to bring you some stability, to be a long-term mate. You know, I feel like they're looking for long term. They're not looking for something short term with this four of pentacles energy, right? So give me a message on the connection. How does this person feel about their connection? How does a person feel about their connection? I feel like this person sees you and they see that they kind of view you as being very busy, like having a lot to do, having a lot to handle, right? They kind of see you as working really hard. Okay, let's see. What is the connection? Tell me where this connection is going for Libra and this person. Tell me where this connection is going. The Page of Wands. This person's going to make some kind of action towards you. They're going to... That they're they're thinking about making some sort of move. They're going to ask you something, you know. We have the Ace of Swords here, so I feel like this person really wants to speak to you. They they really want to share something with you. They want to um, get something off of their chest. Okay, it may be speaking a truth of theirs. You know, maybe telling you something or revealing something to you, okay? But I feel like this person really doesn't know where the situation is going just yet. But they feel like uh, happiness could be waiting, you know? The Six of Wands, they're not sure. They're not sure about this connection. They're not sure if you would be happy with them. If you would be successful, maybe this person has less than you do. Maybe you have more than this person. Because I feel like this person is trying to get their stuff together. They're trying to get it together. They're trying to, you know, prioritize something. They think that you have it all together, Libra. 
they think that you really have it going on and they, they, they feel like they're not good enough for you. I feel like that may be something that they want to get off of their chest because I feel like you may think that they have it all together, but I feel like they don't think that they do. They don't think that they have it together as much as you do. Okay. They think that they're still lacking a bit, you know, um, and they think that they need to work on something before they even, um, before they can even match your level, right? Give me a message about this connection. Tell me more about this connection. Why is the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune here? The Ten of Swords, okay? Yeah, you're not sure neither. You, you're making plans, Libra, but you're waiting for something to end before you can pursue this. There's something that you're waiting to end. Maybe a relationship, maybe uh, some other situation. We still have the um, emperor on the bottom. So I feel like this emperor is waiting, right? They're waiting. Tell me more about the this connection. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Give me more of a message. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Libra? Yeah, you're still working on something. You're working on ending something. There's something ending, Libra. Something that you're working on. You're waiting for something to com be complete before your plans will be followed through. You know, what are you waiting to be complete? What are you waiting for? Okay. I feel like there's an offer here. Someone's going to come with an offer. This is either you or the person. But someone's going to make an offer very soon. But I feel like there's something that you're waiting to complete. There's something that you're working on. You know? Um... Hmm. Okay, tell me about this person. Why do we have the Ten of Wands and Four of Pentacles? Tell me about the Ten of Wands and Four of Pentacles for this person. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. So Libra, I feel like this person is ready to plant the seeds. For this relationship, right? They they want to take some kind of action, and they're ready to plant the seeds to watch this this situation grow. And I feel like their intentions that they're looking for something long term. They're if this is the love interest that you're pursuing, I feel like this could be definitely some kind of soulmate connection. This person feels attached to you. They feel very attracted to you. They may also feel very drawn to you, you know, but there is some kind of action that's going to be taken. They may send you messages that you may receive a surprise message from this person. Um, I feel like they're trying to get up the nerve to, you know, feel like they can pursue you or they can say something to you. Because right now, you know, we have the King of Wands in reverse. We have the King of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this person has is trying to build up their confidence. Right now, they don't have the confidence or they feel like they don't have what it takes to step to you. You know, that maybe they don't have the words or they, they don't have the right thing to say. They don't feel like they have the right thing to say. But um, I feel like, you know, this person may approach you during some uh, social setting, maybe at work or maybe, you know, in a social setting like a bar or coffee shop or, you know, where it is that you go out. I feel like this person, it may be more liable to make a move or may get up the confidence to say something in a social setting, right? Um, but I feel like you may receive a surprise message from this person. They really want to contact you. They really want to say something. But they feel like 
they feel like they don't know what to say. You know, we have the sun in reverse, these ones, the hermit. This person may have been alone for a while. Um, they may be ready to take some action after some sort of change that they've been through. This person may also have been heartbroken. You know, they don't know what to expect when it comes to this relationship, right? They don't know what to expect when it comes to um speaking with you you know i feel like you kind of make them nervous as well you know i feel like that's the reason why there's so much playful flirting or you know that kind of situation because i feel like they're kind of testing the waters to see how you're going to react so they're, they're playing to kind of flirt and get a reaction out of you to see how you're going to respond right so let's get some messages from this person Let's see what this person has to say to Libra. Let's see what this person has to say to Libra. Okay, messages for Libra. What would this person say to Libra if given the chance? What would they say to Libra? What would they say to Libra if given the chance? Okay. I want to tell you how I feel. Look at that. I want to tell you how I feel. And I feel like they really want to. But their their confidence just isn't up there. They feel like you got it going on, Libra. They really do. Okay. I wish I had treated you better. So they may have said something. Or they may have did something that maybe they got a different reaction than what they were expecting from you so they kind of wish that they could take it back they wish they hadn't said that particular thing and i feel like it's something very small but i feel like they said one particular thing and you kind of gave a kind of odd reaction and it kind of whoa maybe i shouldn't have said that you know um sometimes i stay awake thinking about you okay so I feel like they're definitely thinking about you yeah look at this I wish I could take back my words yeah I, I feel like they said something they kind of caught you off guard and you had like a, a different reaction I'm starting to understand our connection okay so I feel like they are really thinking about what is drawing you together where your connection is going and how the connection is going to work. I feel like that's the reason why this person is, is trying to build up their confidence because they feel like they're not good enough for you yet, Libra. They feel like they're not good enough for you. So they feel like they need to work on a few things. Okay. See, what was I telling you? I'm becoming a better person. Yet that's what they, that's what they're trying to do. You know, I want to feel that way again. So that they're, they're trying to become a better person to step to you. Okay. Um, so I feel like this person is going to come closer. They are going to make a move. They may be waiting for a sign from you that it's okay to make a move. Um, and I feel like this person really, they, they have a very strong attraction to you, you know, um, but I feel like it may be a situation to where they may have to keep something kind of under wraps. It may be that you, you know, you're seeing this person at work or maybe you're seeing this person and, you know, and I feel like this person really don't want to say anything until they know how you're going to react that kind of situation. Um, because they don't want to be, they don't want to be let down right um because like i said i feel like this person feels like they're not good enough for you so they feel like you may reject them uh you may reject their offer because you know they may think that you deserve better okay so very interesting libra so let's go ahead and get some more messages we're gonna use these over here and see what is coming out for libra if this is a new connection, Libra, I feel like 
I feel like it's, it's going to escalate in a social setting. You know, that's where it's going to really get started. Because I feel like this person is going to be more confident around people. Because I feel like you make them very nervous. Okay? So, and I feel like in a social setting, they, they're they going to feel more comfortable. Um, they're going to feel like they can let down their guards. But when you're alone with this person, I feel like it's like, oh, wait a minute. This is getting real. Right? Um, so, yeah, let's take a look. What messages do we have for Libra and this person? What messages do we have for you from this person? Give me a message. This person on their mind. The person who's in their thoughts. Give me a message for Libra, please. I will talk to you soon. See, what did I tell you? You're going to receive a surprise message from this person, I think. Yeah, it's time to take action. Yeah, they're getting they're getting up the confidence, Libra. It just takes time. It takes time. You know, whatever they want to say to you, they're going to come out and say. They just have to build up their confidence enough to do it. Right? Okay, messages for Libra. What does this person want to say to Libra? <laughs> you have to let go so something better can come. Okay, yeah, they definitely feel like they're not they're not up to your standard. They feel like you can definitely do better. They and I feel like this person has a very low self-esteem when it comes to themselves they feel like they don't have enough to make you happy they feel like you know their confidence just isn't where it needs to be um i'm set in my ways i'm being stubborn i'm happiest with you connect with your soul tribe like i said i feel like this person is more comfortable in a social setting okay I'm trying to process my fears so I can come back to you. You need more information before you go forward. And we have believe in yourself. You know? Oh, wait a minute. We also have I miss being with you. Okay? So I definitely feel like it's going to take some time for this person because I, I feel like they're working through a few things. They're not quite there yet, okay? But we still have it's time to take action, you know? And I will talk to you soon. So, hey, come on. This person is dragging their feet, okay? So, hopefully they'll get up the nerve. Let's get a timeline for this connection. Give me a timeline for this connection, please. With Libra and their person. Give me a timeline. Okay, the momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. <laughs> so, yeah, this person is going to make their move pretty soon. It's not going to be long. Okay. Um, the, their, their momentum is getting that, that drive and their, their confidence will be, you know, boosted. And they, and until then, I feel like there's going to be a lot more flirting. There's going to be a lot more going on between you and this person. Okay, because they're trying to build their confidence. So I feel like they're waiting for a sign from you, Libra. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number. What do we have for Libra? What angel number do we have for Libra? Hey, yeah, persistence. One, two, three, four. Keep going. You have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know 
that it sees you and all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged. Okay? Libra, your affirmation. I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Okay? So that is your reading, my lovely Libras. So if this, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements if you wish. Um, that may give you more messages. And Libra, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.